Today I'm going to do a little project for the Chevelle. So this is a 66 Chevelle. This is a car that's been in the family since 95, 96, somewhere around then. And uh, it's had so many different engines, different transmissions, different iterations. Uh, it's really been a work in progress for 25 years. Um, and you know, I haven't done too much to it lately. But um, what we're going to do today is change out the ignition system. So this car right now, it's got the uh, fabricated 9-inch dual exhaust. It's got a TH400 automatic transmission and then a small block Chevy. And uh, most of this car is kind of like a 7 of 10. You know, it's stuff that has been pretty good, but is getting a bit long in the tooth. The engine is getting time for replacement. The transmission, I'm going to switch it out to probably a five speed, maybe a six speed, probably five. And the engine, either a big block or an LS, I haven't decided yet, but uh, I'm definitely tired of the small block. Now the small block, it's a 383 stroker. It's pretty healthy in its prime. It's probably 450 horse. Now it's probably 400, four and a quarter, maybe on a good day. So the car is quick, but by like today's standards, you know, it's definitely not, not a race car. It's not going to win against a Tesla probably. That's kind of sad. But anyway, um, it needs paint and body for sure. It needs a bunch of work. I'm going to chip away at it, but mostly this is a car now just to, to cruise. Wow, it's dusty. So it's been up there all winter. This is the first time down for the spring. Uh, I guess I should wash it. That'll be on the list of things to do. You can see there is a little bit of paint peeling on the hard top there. Um, this paint was just a cheap paint job 25 years ago. So amazingly, it's, it's done actually okay for that long, but it needs a full, basically, uh, a restoration. And as you can see, it's a small block, nothing fancy. It's got uh, dart heads from 20 something years ago, a solid cam. Uh, I think I'm running, uh, I think it's still a 750 double pumper in it right now. And um, on its best day, it would do 1190s. Now I suspect it's more like about a 12-1, 12-2, somewhere in there kind of car. But it was respectable uh, at the time. Um, but as I say, either a big block or an LS, I'm not sure. All right, so what we're going to do today, though, is I've been having troubles with the ignition. And what it is is an intermittent complete no start um, and it just doesn't get spark. And I think the culprit is this MSD Digital 6. And so this I bought, I can't even remember when, uh, at least 15, maybe 20 years ago. And it's, it's worked well for you know, many, many years. So it doesn't owe me anything. Um, but every once in a while it doesn't get spark and it's as if um, it's like a low voltage situation, except for it's with a fully charged battery. It's similar to what you'd expect with a grounding issue, but I've gone through the grounds. Um, it's not that, I'm pretty confident in that. Um, so I think it's an issue with electronics in the MSD box. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simplify things. I'm going to take the box out. It's got a nice billet um, distributor that's actually locked out and that's been fine. I'm going to take that out as well, and the coil as well. And basically, I'm just going to replace it all just with a very uh, simple uh, HEI. And the reason I'm not putting more effort into fixing all this is because I do plan to do a full motor swap. And at that point, whether it's a big block or an LS, I'll likely do fuel injection with coil on plug. 
So basically, I don't want to uh, invest a whole lot of extra time or money into this ignition system because it all will get changed out in the relatively near future. So for today, basically just simplifying. So this is what, I, what I'm going to put in its place, and it's just a cheap uh, Summit generic AGI. So nothing fancy, HEI, whatever that coil is on the top. Um, it actually looks pretty nice though, I mean it is billet aluminum. It's nicer than the old stalkers, it does have an adjustable vacuum advance. Um, you know, in this car I've been running it without any advance for years, and it's been totally fine. It's geared high, it's got a 4000 stall converter, so it doesn't really need the vacuum or any real time in advance really, but um, I'll run it anyway. So what do you think? Trading out the MSD unit, coil, and digital six for a basically stock HEI unit. Will this cost me any horsepower on this application? Um, I kind of think it won't. You know, I think whatever power uh, losses will be will be fairly negligible and um, you know definitely within the realm of tuning anyway and ultimately for this car it's not a race car this is more just a, like a cruiser so if I can trade a few horsepower for 100% reliability it's definitely worth it All right, well, that was pretty easy. I will, um, I'll see if it fires up and then I'll put the timing light on it. And then uh, actually I actually will attach a vacuum line for that vacuum advance. But um, it hasn't run yet this year, so it might take a bit to start it, but let's see if at least we have spark. Okay, so this little project is done, and I have to say, the car is actually running really well. So earlier I was wondering would I lose any horsepower by downgrading from MSD to the HEI, and honestly I don't think I'd, it has. The engine is running as good as it really ever has, I think. And just driving it around, you know, I kind of forgot just how fun this car is to drive. You know, it is pretty quick, it's not uh, crazy fast, but uh, it is fun. So. Uh, Anyway, I'm going to enjoy driving it for the summer. As I mentioned, I do have plans to upgrade pretty much everything on the car at some point. It does need body work. It needs, uh, well it doesn't need, but it'd be great to have a new engine, have an LS or a big block, and I'd like to go to a manual transmission. So these are all things to do. In the meantime, I'll be enjoying it. See ya.